Hello. Now let's get a sound. Now we make VCA open and open the CV offset knob to the positive direction. We open the OP amp output. We will use the transformer output soon. We're opening it already. We're opening this input. I want to talk about these points. There are two points in the first channel, but there is only one point on the other channel. We're at audio input 1 now. When there is a single channel, we first enter the first channel. This point shows that when we enter a single channel in VCA, we fully fill the headroom of VCA and that we are in the transparent range. 2. When we want to use input at once, if we want to open it evenly on both channels, we need to set two channels at a lower point than the point where we normally set a single channel. Now I'm setting two channels to the place where there are other points. Now, when we use two input, the transparent area and the maximum level of VCA are exactly. Now get the only channel again. Let's take it to our zero point. At the zero point of VCA, that is to mention the transparent area, it is not enough to adjust these inputs at zero. This drive or this EQ section also has a zero point. For the OP amp output, the zero point of this gain potentiometer is exactly the middle of this potentiometer. For the transformer output, the zero point is marked here with the letter T. Now let's hear the transformer output and put our zero point in place. This level we have entered, sine wave does not drive. The least deterioration. Noise floor is the lowest level. We will come to the comparison of OP amp and transformer outputs later. I would like to talk about the saturation features of the X-Former VCA. In this VCA, we can get saturation from three different points. First, the audio signal we entered in input, if we set up the point zero. We are saturating the OP amp at the end of the VCA section. To location, there is a preamp circuit that comes immediately after the VCA section. This preamp circuit starts to be a drive right after a few decibels. Here is a classic diode clipping. 3. There is a gain potentiometer that comes just before an EQ. The gain level you set here allows you to be able to saturation the OP amp or transformer at the output while changing the behavior of EQ. These saturations each have a different color. You can get different combinations and colors by mixing these saturations. The transformer begins to be a saturation after reaching a certain voltage satisfaction. It has a slightly different type and is the most similar type of saturation created by the magnetic tapes we record in studios. Let's hear the saturation tone in transformer. Thanks for watching.